by Father Roy Bourgeois, founder of the School of the Americas. Watch. Juan? Uh, Dr. Abendaris, I'd like to ask you, here in the United States, many of the mainstream press reports are saying that the political leadership uh, in Honduras is saying that the coup was actually legal, uh, that, it, that it was President Celaya who was attempting to, uh, to usurp the Constitution, uh, and that there was a, actually a legal arrest order against him. I'd like your response to that and how you see this uh, in terms of uh, who, has, uh, who is on firm legal footing here. I would say that uh, that is a lie, that uh, the people are supporting the coup d'etat. That's not true. Uh, what uh, people are supporting are people, almost uh, some uh, military reserves, some people who are from the ruling class, and some people who are in favor of repression against the, the people. So they really don't have a support. They have a support of the culture torture areas, perpetrators, and some people who are leading this movement are people who are trained in the School of America. So we have to emphasize on that. I mean, this is a militaristic mind. These are people whose ideology is really backward. It's so terrible. I mean, and they have been responsible of the human rights abuse in this country. So... Of course, there is a kind of policy trying to confuse the international community. But here in Berkeley, what is the reason to have a coup d'etat if you have the sympathy of the people? Why are they opposed to have just a legal survey to ask people whether they want or not to have a new constitution? So there is no reason. They are desperate. They don't want to give anything to the people. We are really in a terrible injustice in our society. So all these arguments are very weak when you confront reality. And interesting that you yeah. talk about democracy, Dr. Almandaris, because uh, Roberto Micheletti, who was sworn in, many say illegally, as a new president, actually ran for president in the primary right against Zelaya and lost. It was close, but he lost. I wanted to turn... Violated before the Constitution many times. They have been violated in the Constitution because they, they have the power, they have the armed forces, they have police. So all this kind of thing has been really the people are not supporting. And I will say our people have a really courage because we are really living a terrible history of repression in Honduras. Dr. Almondaris, I wanted to turn for a minute to Father Roy Bourgeois. By the way, the latest news, the World Bank President, Robert Zellick, uh, said that the World Bank has put on hold aid to Honduras during the political crisis, which he cautioned might be a setback for the region. Father Roy Bourgeois, uh, you're right outside Fort Benning, um, where what used to be known as School of the Americas is, the new name, WINSEC. What is the connection between WINSEC, School of the Americas, and the coup in Honduras? Well, first of all, we're not surprised, you know, that there's a connection to the School of the Americas now called WINSEC. This school is well known in Latin America as a school of coups, a school of dictators, a school of torture. Uh, there is a direct connection, which we expected. The two main players in this coup in Honduras that ousted President Zelaya are two generals, well-known graduates of the school, General Romero Vasquez, who's the commander in chief, the head of the military not only a graduate, a two-time graduate. And of course, uh, also General Luis Suazo, a graduate in, of the school in 1996, who's the head of the Air Force. Uh, this school is well known in Latin America, again, as the school of coups. Whenever there's a massacre, cases of torture, human rights abuses, we have been able to document a direct connection to this school. This school has trained uh, over 60,000 soldiers from 15 countries in Latin America in combat skills, all paid for, I must say, by the U.S. taxpayers. And um, 
We, of course, are, like so many, are outraged by this coup. Uh, this is a scandal. Uh, we're encouraged by the response, of course, from the international community and the tens of thousands in the SOA Watch movement who are really walking in solidarity with the people of Honduras at this time and the, the poor throughout Latin America. Uh, Father Bourgeois, I'd like to ask you, this, this uh, reminds me very much of what happened uh, uh, years ago in Haiti, where you had basically a military coup against the illegally elected President Aristide, and where the, a Democratic administration, President Clinton, condemned uh, the, the coup leaders, uh, as, the, as has President Obama, at least in, this, uh, in, in the early days here, but where the U.S. military was playing a different role. Uh, in essence, had its own ties with the established uh, coup leaders. Uh, I'm wondering if, if uh, your response to how this has played out previously throughout Latin America, these kinds of coups. Yes. You know, you're talking about Haiti. Uh, you know, the, the main players in, in what happened in Haiti were trained not at the School of the Americas, but at Fort Benning at that time, uh, who were very involved in ousting President Aristide. Um, I don't know what to say other than, you know, this school has a long history for this reason. You know, many of us are very familiar with what happened in El Salvador and many other countries. Uh, the high-profile cases, Archbishop Oscar Romero, the six Jesuits, the four, four U.S. church women who were raped and killed, all of these cases, along with the thousands of others, they have been graduates of the U.S. Army School of the Americas, uh, now called WINSEC. I'm happy to say that just last week we had in Congress uh, a vote uh, Last week, the House approved an amendment to the National Defense Authorization Act, which would force the Pentagon to release the names of the graduates, uh, including their rank, the courses taken in the country of origin. For the last five years, they have refused to give us these names, all in the name of, you know, uh, national security. While they talk about transparency and democracy, this school is an obstacle to democracy, and this sea change has taken place in Latin America. Very important also, we have an upcoming bill, H.R. 2567, in Congress. This bill will suspend all operations at the school, and there will be a full investigation about this school and its hundreds of graduates who have been involved in these atrocities and coups. Eleven dictators have gone through this school. Whenever there's been a coup like this one in Honduras over the past uh, decades, there has been a direct connection to this school. And we are calling on our members of Congress, and we want President Obama to, to get involved here. He has the power to shut down this school of assassins, this school of coups, this school with so much blood on its hands. He has the power to close this school by executive order. That's why we are appealing for people in our country to write President Obama and tell him, as he talks about a new relationship with countries, let us also involve these countries of Latin America. Let us have President Obama close the school. Father Roy Bourgeois, um, the legislation that you say was passed in the House now has to be reconciled with the Senate version, um, which doesn't have this amendment that would require the release of names that you at School of the Americas Watch have relied on before the five years that you haven't been able to get them all of these years to show the connection between what these soldiers do when they go home. Uh, just a little background on Father Roy Bourgeois for our listeners and viewers. Um, first went to School of the Americas uh, soon after um, Archbishop Oscar Romero was gunned down, assassinated March 24th, 1980. And you took a boom box and went on to the base and broadcast um, the last words of Oscar Romero, the speech um, that he gave specifically to the Salvadoran soldiers, urging them to, um, uh, saying, I implore you, I beg you, I order you, stop the repression. You broadcast his voice and you were arrested and served a year and a half in prison. Um, but when did you actually set up SOA Watch uh, right outside School of the Americas? I don't think most people know about the Jesuits killed. I don't think most people know about the four churchwomen in El Salvador.